Hi, I'm Pam Triolo, and welcome to a new edition of The Food Lady. Well, our theme of the month is casual comfort food. And what's more comfortable than some of the most decadent food in the world that you'll find in food trucks? We're at the Food Truck Invasion in the city of Wellington, and we're going to eat our way through this entire festival. Plus, we're going to try some great comfort food from some of my favorite restaurants in Palm Beach County. You won't want to miss a second of today's Food Lady. The Food Lady is brought to you thanks to the support of these fine sponsors. I don't want to date myself, but back in 1994, I was heading up trying to find the best beaches in South Florida, ended up on alternate A1A from Palm Beach Gardens, driving up towards Jupiter, and I look on the right and I see this really cool sign. Hey, is that a dog and a surfboard? Must be cool, right? Pulled over, hopped in, and boy, did I find the best comfort food around. It's the Dune Dog. All right, I've got Ricky, the general manager here at the Dune Dog in Jupiter, and we're talking casual comfort food, and go. I can't think of any place better than this when it comes to dogs. We do casual comfort pretty good around here. Been yeah. doing it well for the past 25 years. But, you know, even though they do have one of the best hot dogs in all of Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast, I would have to say they also have some pretty spectacular other foods, too. And this is one of my favorites. This is why I come here all the time. The ginormous portion of crispy fish. Yeah, two eight ounce portions, uh, fried flaky white fish, lightly breaded in panko, uh, served with two sides. Typically, always people get fries and coleslaw. But uh, yeah, on Tuesdays, you can get two of those for $18.99 right now. Oh my goodness. Enough food to take home. And the tartar's awesome too. I'm yeah. getting right in here because this is my favorite. But I will tell you this, uh, first of all, have you ever seen this much fish in one plate? I mean, this is enough for, I would eat like this much <laughs> here, and then that will be lunch tomorrow. There you go. And that's my husband's for dinner when I don't come home, because I'm busy shooting the show. And that's enough for the next day, maybe. All right, but well, we've got all these other great things here. I'm gonna get eating this in a second, but I, I'm tempted to start with this. Yeah, so actually when you split this meal between two people, the calories don't count. It's non-existent, <laughs> right? So definitely recommend two people. It's just our signature waffle fries, our homemade chili, tomatoes, onions, scallions, jalapenos. What do you call this? Yankee nachos. I call it decadence on a plate. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that is good. Ooey gooey. You're not supposed to talk with your mouth full. I don't care. All right, what else we got? Um, you have your lobster dinner. We serve lobster Wednesday through Saturday here. On Thursday nights is our deep discount night. Mm -hmm. It's a pound and a quarter fresh main, comes with two sides. This time of year, probably selling about 100 a night of those on Thursday nights. Now, so we're talking casual eats, and you wouldn't tend to think that lobster is a casual food, but when it's this inexpensive and it's this casual. It's not going to break the bank. It's not going to break the bank. I no. love it. And this comes with the sides, okay. Yes, ma'am. And let's talk about the dogs. I'm sorry, but right. this no. is the star here. Yeah. It's the foundation of what we were built on. Okay. So it's a, it's a kosher hot dog, Hebrew National, all beef. Right. Uh, we have a regular size, about six inches in the foot long. It comes on a toasted New England bun. So picture your hot dog bun with the sides shaved off, lightly yes. buttered and toasted. We serve it with a knife and fork because all our dogs are messy. You can butter and toast my buns anytime. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. Oh, that is good. It's good, right? That's the best dog. I'm sorry. I'm getting messy. I'm wearing white, too. <laughs> this is stuck. All right. Here we go. I'm going in for the fish now. Go too, for the fish. Before we finish, I want to mention, you've been here. This is a special month. Yeah. So this is our 25th year. It's our quarter century. Slacker. Uh, <laughs> we celebrated uh, Celebrated early. We opened up a new location in Stewart, September 1st. That's going real well. Stewart seems to like us. Uh, we're just trying to spread the love across Florida. Oh, everyone loves the dune dog. I like to call it the dog. Every time I pass, even when I don't have to stop, I say, 
The dog. Mm -hmm. Or I say it more like, the dog. Yeah. All right, <laughs> I'm going to destroy every dish here in front of me. Well, you take a look at this. All right, we're starting our quest here at Food Truck Invasion in Wellington at, I don't know, I couldn't resist it. One of my first stops, Cheesezilla. You know how much I love the cheese. And I've got Darwin with me, who's uh, manning up the post. We're a little early, I know, so thank you for opening up your truck for no us. No problem, no problem. All right, so what are you, exactly are you gonna make here at Cheese? Uh, we make grilled cheeses, like Philly cheese steaks. Like, we got specialty mac and cheese. We got, uh, like, mac and cheese inside of a grilled cheese. Oh my gosh. Yeah, with bacon, so. Bunch of different kind of grilled cheeses. So there's really stuff. nothing very low calorie here. When yeah, no, it. definitely not. Not, <laughs> at, not at this truck. Well, it, that wouldn't be comforting then, yeah, would it? Exactly. All right, so you're gonna get in there and you're gonna make me your specialty grilled cheese sandwich. What? What do you think I'm gonna like? Um, I'd probably go with maybe like the buffalo chicken. Mm. Yeah, buffalo chicken grilled cheese. Let's give it a try. Oh man, the buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwich from Cheesezilla is amazing. Stay tuned, we've got more coming. All right, I've got my perfect pearls on right now. We're flashing back to the days of Ozzy and Harriet, right? Remember the days when we had TV dinners and we thought it was the coolest thing in the world to take those puppies out of the freezer and sit in front on the little, the little card table in front of you and have dinner watching television? Well, we're gonna do our own version of that here at Howley's in West Palm Beach, except everything on our TV dinner is gonna be delicious and it's gonna be fresh. Ernst is inside getting ready to prepare it for us, so let's check it out. All right, I'm here with my buddy Ernst, who does just about everything here at Howley's, right? Yes. We were making pies the last time I visited yes, you. Yes, I make uh, pie, you know, I make uh, peanut butter pie, coconut cream pie. You make them all? All, all of them. You well, know. today we're talking comfort food and pie. Well, pie is extremely comforting. Mm -hmm. So is meatloaf. That's a meatloaf today, you know. What's going into your special meatloaf? Uh, special meatloaf, I got the ground beef, okay. you know, and I... I, I Break it up into pieces? I break it up into pieces, you know? Okay. And I got uh, like Is this a, an individual size meatloaf? A, that's an individual size. Okay. That's the size of meatloaf. Okay. And I got um, like a saute onion. Oh, You nice. know, make it like a uh, brown. Okay. And I put it in. And I got like a roasted garlic. Ooh. You know, I put it in. I, I mix it you. up, everything together. That's the secret. Look at that roasted garlic in there. Yeah. I did know. not know that. Yeah, you know. No garlic batter here. We're talking the real stuff. Yeah, I don't like I don't use the garlic powder. You know, so many people they use garlic powder, but when you have a roasted garlic, it makes it taste better, you know? Oh yeah. And uh, I got like a uh, egg, you know, okay. like a uh, one egg. One egg? You know. You just put it together. Okay. And I got like a uh, one souffle cup, like a uh, um Ketchup. Okay. And a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Easy for you to say. Yeah. <laughs> Salt and pepper. Okay. There you go. And uh, I put some uh, like uh, shredded uh, Parmesan cheese. Another to, secret. Okay. Yeah, you know. I did not know that either. Yeah. And after that, I mix everything together. Okay. That's a very wet mix. Yep. But you because have when dry it, crumb, yeah, right? I had a bread okay. crumb to make it, you know. Okay. When all your meat mix together, all ingredients together, you know, and what now you put the Italian bread crumb. That's my secret too. Yeah. I use the Italian breadcrumbs too. Yeah. Some people talk panko. But panko ones. is good, but you know. It's, it's not Italian, Italian breadcrumbs. Yeah, you know. Especially if you're putting cheese in there. Yeah, you know. Right? And yeah. garlic. Garlic. <laughs> yeah. All right. And now you mix it up together, you know. And now what I did, I just stick like a platter. Okay. You know. 
You're gonna make a little meatloaf shape. Little meatloaf shape, you know. And that's for one. That's for that's for one meatloaf, you know. Wow. And taking home leftovers for meatloaf sandwiches the that's next day. That's right, you know. That's the best. Cold meatloaf sandwiches with ketchup. <laughs> yeah. On white bread. All right, so it's going in. Yep. All right, now we're gonna have a TV dinner, so yeah. you're gonna put that all together for and me I'm in the kitchen? I'm gonna put the, everything in the kitchen together, okay. make it cook, you know? All right, I'm gonna go climb around the counter. All right. That's my favorite place to sit in hell. That's right, you know? You know? There we this have is it. This is uh, the TV dinner, meatloaf. That's all the right. presentation, you know? Look how cute it is. It looks just like a TV dinner when I was a kid. Yeah, like a sauté piece for the vegetable. You know? Except nothing was frozen. These are fresh. No, everything fresh. All right. And even we a brownie. Even the brownie, we make it here, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's turn this meatloaf out. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I could taste that fresh garlic in there. That's and right. The onion, you know, onion and the cheese. Now that I know what's in it, I can see it all. Well, that's good. Let me try this potato too. You know, Creamy the mashed potatoes, fresh. Yeah, fresh, you know? Make it. And peas. the house, you know, peas. Uh, and I got TV. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm all set. <laughs> Check out the Howie's TV dinner every night of the week. Something new. Looking for an authentic Japanese steakhouse? Welcome to Saito's. Enjoy Saito's specialty sushi rolls, like their signature city place roll, featuring spicy tuna, pineapple, and avocado. Saito's also offers the best dinner on a show. Whether you enjoy surf or turf, there's something for everyone, and it's always a lot of fun. Saito's Japanese Steakhouse, Hibachi, and Sushi, now with six locations to choose from. Enjoy dinner and a show today. For over 30 years, there's been only one place in Palm Beach County serving up the most authentic Maryland-style blue crabs. Riggins Crab House. Whether you want them steamed in beer and J.O. spice or smothered in garlic and oil, whether you want just a few or all you can eat, Chef Gino's got you covered. Plus, there's Dungeness Snow, King Crab, and Stone Crab in season, and the fresh catch of the day to live Maine Lobster. Come see why people travel near and far to Riggins, the area's only authentic Maryland-style crab house. Want to know where the locals go for delicious made-from-scratch cooking, craft beers, and top-shelf drinks at value prices? Lou's Bar & Grill in Tequesta. Lou's Bar & Grill is the perfect spot for mouth-watering seafood, pastas, and more. Feast on Lou's seared ahi tuna, the penne bogotaro, or their blackened salmon in a light but decadent lobster sauce. Whatever you crave, you'll find it at Tequesta's best-kept secret. Lou's Bar and Grill and Tiki Bar on US 1 just north of Indian Town. Well, having some Mediterranean blood in me, nothing pleases me more and comforts me more than taking a little trip down the Mediterranean to Greece. And with me is Alex Mentis. He's a former executive chef from one of those big hotel chains that we won't mention, but uh, he has found his passion in a food truck right here in Wellington today, and you are making some serious, serious meat here. We got a chicken gyro and a regular gyro the way it's made in Greece. The, the Greek gyro is made with pork. Lamb gyros do not exist in Greece. Really? So this is the authentic way, just the way it's made in Greece. Not the Greek-American invention with the lamb and the mixture of meat. Right. This is actually slabs of meat stacked on top of each other. Oh my goodness, so it's not like that shaved. No, so I shave it, it's real Jelly meat. roll, it looks like, yes. right? This is so meat. It's, it's, the real, it's the real deal. Can you cut a little piece yes. off so we can try it? Am I gonna burn myself if I eat it? No. The nice crispy parts. Oh, the crispy part's the best. We gotta put some tzatziki sauce, right? Oh yeah, bring it on. That's my favorite. Ready? Oh, it's hot. You know what you're doing back here. It's freshly made. Every day it's fresh. All right. You're going to make a gyro? Yes, we're going to make a gyro right. right now so you can try it. Let's do it. We're shaving it nice and thin. We 
We've got a nice grilled pita. We're gonna put a gyro meat. This is the secret. We'll put french fries in our gyros. Tajiki sauce. A couple slices of tomatoes. Some slivered onions. A little dash of paprika. And this is the tricky part. Nice sealed closed gyro. Here's your gyro and some Greek orat soda. From Greece, wow. Hey, apparently I'm gonna be eating my way through this food truck invasion, so stay with us. All right, we're in the kitchen, Pam Triolo in my kitchen. And when I think comfort food, I probably always resort back to, you know, what I grew up with, Italian food. And there's nothing more comforting to me than homemade lasagna. So we're gonna get started. Now you can do it a couple of different ways and I'm gonna give you some options. Um, of course, your favorite jarred sauce. You can start with that if you'd like to make it really super easy for you. You're gonna need some mozzarella. You're going to need some ricotta cheese. This is a, 15, what does it say, two pounds in this container. You're gonna need at least two cups of Pecorino Romano. I like to use this one, which is the Locatelli. And also, I get this one at Costco, the Cello Pecorino. Both, very, very good. You're also gonna need, you can of course make it without meat, ground sausage, ground beef, and some fresh parsley, garlic powder, an egg, and of course, lasagna noodles. Now, a lot of people use those no-bake ones, and they're pretty okay, but for some reason, whenever I've tried them, some part of it still ends up crunchy. And I'm not big on crunchy in my lasagna. So these are the traditional noodles that I have boiled, kept al dente, and then just got them ready to make this recipe. Now, the one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my eight-hour sauce. How many of you have heard about my grandmother's eight-hour sauce? Well, I make it. And it's uh, super wonderful because it reminds me of my grandma and my mom. And in it, it has meatballs and sausage. So instead of me browning sausage and, and chopped meat and doing all that work, I've got it already. I took it out of my freezer. I defrosted it, put it on the stove, and I've got homemade sauce and meatballs and sausage. So I'm going to chop that up instead of using the ground. So it still has the casings on the sausage, but who cares? It still tastes good. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with my filling first. I do mine a little bit different. I sort of make the filling like I would for a stuffed shell or a managotta. I'm gonna take an egg and I'm gonna put it in my ricotta. And then I'm gonna take about a cup of Pecorino Romano and put it in. And I'm gonna take some chopped fresh parsley, put that in there. And then I'm going to add some garlic powder. A couple good shakes. I'm going to mix it all together. Make sure that egg gets shared around. There we go. Good workout for your upper arms. <laughs> and I'm going to add now some shredded mozzarella or mozzarella. This is about a cup. Okay. Now, if you noticed when we were doing the setup, I have mozzarella in uh, a couple of different ways. I've got it shredded. I've got it cubed and I've got it sliced. Sounds difficult, but I like it in three different consistencies. I'm gonna start with the sauce. So I'm gonna reach in. And a lot of my meatballs, ooh, I had short ribs in the sauce too. Ooh, that's gonna add, it's gonna add some nice flavor. Just put a little bit down on the bottom. I got pieces of meatball in there, that's okay. I'm actually gonna squish them up so it makes like a meat sauce. 
Sausages, I'm gonna have to be a little bit more choppy with it. Okay, one more. There we go. Okay, a little bit of sauce down there. Now this pan I did grease beforehand with some olive oil cooking spray. All right, so got a little bit of sauce down. Now we're gonna take our lasagna. I'm gonna put the noodles down. You want to overlap them a little bit. Three. I'm going to scoop in some of our mix. So I'm going to grab some of these chunks of mozzarella too. We know we have the shredded inside with the ricotta, but I like a little extra oozy cheese. That's the little special something something. And then we're going to add a little more sauce. With the meat in it. So if you were just doing jar sauce, remember, you would add your meat on top of your sauce. And because I want sausage in there, I'm gonna take some of my sausage right out of my sauce and just slice it up. Oh, I think this one was a spicy one. I always use a combo of sweet and spicy sausage. That'll add a little zing. Okay. Put it in. We know there's meatballs in there, but now there's a sausage. A little extra grated cheese. And what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna do the same exact thing for a couple of layers, and then I'll see you when we finish the top. Okay, we've got that all in there. This is gonna be a mambo lasagna. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna put some foil on this, we're gonna seal it tightly, but I'm gonna put toothpicks in here so that it doesn't smush the cheese. After about 40 minutes at 375, I'm gonna take that top off and I'm gonna brown that cheese perfectly on top and then we're gonna enjoy. Oh man, this smells good. We got a little uh, Chianti, some fresh bread. Take your toothpicks out. <laughs> nice, perfectly toasted, perfectly done. And uh, the one thing you want to do is you want to let this rest for about 15 minutes or else you're going to burn your face off. <laughs> this is comfort food. Triola style. Cheers. Our quest for casual comfort food is going south of the border to Cuba. In fact, we're going to have the best Cuban food in town. Everyone says so. It's Havana Restaurant on the corner of Forest Hill and Dixie. You've always seen that takeout window with the line out front. You can get anything you want from the restaurant 24-7. That's incredible, right? But did you see the exterior of the building and that gorgeous transformation? What about inside with that luscious wood paneling and the railing? You know what? They take 25 years to a new level. Yeah, they celebrated 25 years right here in the Palm Beaches. My favorite dish at Havana is always the Rice Imperial. When I think of comfort food, that's exactly what I think of. So I'm gonna see if they have some today. All right, Renato here has brought me my absolute favorite, the Rice Imperial. Oh my goodness, this is like, comfort food at its best. What's in this? You have to tell everybody. Okay, in Thai, it have the yellow rice with the chicken, the pulled chicken, and have the green peas and the cheese on the top. Now, there's a special sauce in there. What's the special sauce? I gotta get the recipe. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I can't let you know. <laughs> you told me you'd have to shoot me, right? Yeah. All right, let's give it a try. For sure. Look at this. Comfort food has got to be a couple of things. It's got to have a little goo factor. It's got to be ooey. 
It's gotta be gooey. It's gotta be cheesy. It's gotta be decadent in some way, shape, or form. Bring it on, Renata. Let's go, baby. When I'm in a bad mood, I come to Havana and I order this, and all my troubles are gone. Oh, that is good. That's good. Comfort food at its finest. Get over here. <laughs> Thank you. Havana. So much for watching this edition of the food lady we have had so much fun at the food truck invasion in wellington thank you to all the great trucks that participated today and to the ones we didn't get a chance to try this time wait till next time thank you for all the great restaurants on today's shows and chefs and of course thank you to you for watching well after all that food of course i have to stop for dessert and we've got sweet cravings i've got rust here like getting us. here <laughs> Now, so tonight, obviously you don't eat those cupcakes. I do all okay. day long. I all love day long. It. Oh. Yeah, it's all about how you eat them. Like it. <laughs> Scoop an ice cream. All right, so what are we going to do? And now you're going to make a so shake. So tonight we're going to do a cup shake. It's your choice of cupcakes. Tonight we have Bailey's, vanilla, mint chocolate chip, lemon drop, Nutella, and red velvet. Mint chocolate chip is my so favorite. where did I take this mint chocolate chip cupcake? Let's we're going to put it right here. Pop it down. Because <laughs> nothing more comforting than a glorious cupcake inside of ice cream that you can drink. No calories at all. None whatsoever. <laughs> Would you like some more cream on it? Sure. All right. <laughs> all right, so the ice cream goes in with the cupcake mixed in. Mixed in. And then we the get some whipped cream. That's what I'm talking about. I get you a nice pretty straw. Thank you. Holy cannoli. Homemade cannolis, we have two. <laughs> we'll see you next time on The Food Lady. That's really good. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh my god, mint chocolate chip. You're killing me. You're killing me, Rilo. They've got a great party time going on. Blah, 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 blah. That's as much fish as you serve. That's a real serving? That's a real serving. Yeah. Holy crap. I feel like I have something in my teeth. We're eating our way through here. Right. It's only a pound of ice cream. Plus the cupcake. Salon services by Palm Beach Beauty Salon, located in the LA Fitness Plaza PGA National. Services include skin care and facial waxing. Makeup artistry, great for weddings, proms, or any special occasion. Featuring ergonomically designed shampoo bowls to prevent strain on neck with a team of talented hairstylists in a fun and energetic environment, all working together to ensure your visit a success.